Hello and welcome to the Ableton Live Insider Tips and this is really the last time I'm going to be talking about the options TXT file but it turned out to be quite interesting for a lot of people so I thought I'd mention this last command as well. I was actually reminded of it by someone in a comment. He goes by the name of Random Value if you want to check him out and what the command is is this. It's enable arm on selection. When you want to add this command, make sure that you delete the no auto arming first because they're actually conflicting. So I'm going to delete this one, click save. So now I've started live and I've also opened a live set. And uh, what the enable arm on selection does is quite simple. As soon as you arm a track, when you actually select a different one, then it automatically gets armed. This can be really useful when you want to record something and you're producing, or it can be very helpful when you're performing live as well. And I think this is where most people will want to use it. And as soon as you disarm the track again, you can just select tracks and they won't be automatically armed. By the way, this command is very new and it only works with Live 9. In earlier versions, it is ignored and Live tells you that. I've also made the options TXT file with all the commands in it available on my website on each of the posts about the options TXT file. The link is below and you can just download it, but make sure that if you want to use either no auto arming or enable arm on selection, you have to delete the other because they're conflicting with each other. So there it is. Nice and simple, but very helpful. I hope you enjoyed it again and I'll see you next time.